Well, okay, here it is, the Super Slusher. And what we want to do today is explain to you what it is, how it works, and then do a demonstration so you can actually see it working uh, in actuality. First of all, the Super Slusher is designed to make margaritas in minutes, slushes in seconds. It's basically a big, big blender on steroids, but yet it's a lot different than a blender. Okay, so what I'd like to describe first to you is the actual machine. Obviously, you can see that it's 40, it's about 45 inches tall, and the stand itself is about 20 by 20. Very lightweight, the whole unit weighs about 45 pounds, so it's very, very easy to transport. Uh, when you receive the piece of equipment, it'll come in two parts. The stand will be separated from the base, and it will have wing nuts so that you can assemble it and disassemble it to take it from place to place if you desire to, or you can transport it as it stands here in one piece. Let's talk about it a little more thoroughly. It's basically, it's a stainless steel drum, just like a home blender would look like. The big difference is, is we've tried to analyze what the failures are of a home blender. Obviously, everyone knows that if you make a drink with a home blender, the machine is not capable of crunching the ice to, to the fine texture that you're looking for. So with the sheer velocity of this motor, like I said, it is a 3600 RPM motor. It just pulverizes the ice and aerates it so that the texture that it creates is exactly the texture you're looking for. It's exactly like shaving it off the freezing cylinder of virtually any machine that you currently have. The other thing we decided to do is make as least amount of parts as possible. In a home blender, the thing that usually fails is the fact that the the bowl that makes the product usually detaches from the base or from the motor. So you have a weak point there. The way we design this is it's all one piece. This does not detach. It just So you're not going to have a shearing area. You're not going to have a place where the gears get stripped. This machine will stay intact. And what you would end up doing is there's a foot lever here that enables you to tip the machine and then pour this liquid right into a other container that you then transfer into your machine. So it's very easy to uh, use that way. And of course, the lid will keep it, keep it solid. Uh, once you have the beverage in your machine, then you're gonna utilize that machine and make the beverage and use that as a dispenser until you require more beverage. Then you simply put the product in here, the liquid, the alcohol, if you're using an alcohol drink, and of course, you are gonna use ice flip the switch and it will just pulverize it and you'll be seeing that demonstration here uh, in just a minute. Another thing I want to discuss is the science of the machine on how it works, how does it actually pulverize the ice as opposed to leaving ice chunks. Well I mentioned it before but it, one of the key factors is the motor. The motor does spin the blade, the cutting blade, at 3600 RPMs. It's a one and a half horsepower motor. It does need a 15 amp so if you're on a tight situation where you don't have a lot of power, you may need to run this, turn it off, and then turn your machine on to utilize just one piece of electric current that you have coming. The main thing is the blade. The blade on this is hard to see, but it's about a four inch cutting blade that cuts the ice, so it really just obliterates it. The other thing is the indents in the actual container. That creates a friction. It makes it spin and become more turbulent and aerates the product. So it does an unbelievable job of turning it and you'll see possibly when we do some of these colors, you'll see the color change in the mix when it becomes aerated and actually is pulverized and turns into the perfect slush. So with those things is, is one of the key factors that makes this a completely different animal than your generic basic home blender. If you're in a rental business, you can show up, set up your equipment, get their mixes, blast the batch of mix for them in seconds, leave the rental with them with the machine and the mix is ready to drink. Revolutionize your business by being one of the only companies that can offer instant drinks. Unbelievable. Okay, now that you know a little bit more about the machine, let's go ahead and actually make a batch for you so you can see it working in action. What we're going to do here is we're first going to make a, a batch of uh, margarita mix. This is one of our margaritas. This is a, a 7 to 1 ratio, so this will make uh, 5 gallons of margaritas. Basically what you're going to do, very simple, is you take the lid off and you pour your product into the machine and um, get all the stuff out of the bottle. 
Our mixture calls for two 1.75 liters of tequila. So basically, that is the big half gallon bottles this size here. So this is a silver tequila. And you're simply going to just take the lids off and pour both uh, two bottles of tequila right into the container. Okay, it's bottle number one. And then bottle number two. Yeah, it's smelling good. What, what we'll notice is you are going to use ice for this. This is going to pulverize the ice like we mentioned. And you'll see, we're going to do a close-up of it, and you'll see it blending, and you'll see the color change to the texture that you're used to seeing uh, when you manufacture the mix in your machine regularly. Next is adding the ice. Now, the ice, you know, you can buy ice at multiples of places. Some are 8-pound bags, 10-pound bags. But you want to basically just fill up the bowl to the 5-gallon mark inside the machine. Um, these are 8-gallon eight pound bags and uh, basically you want to hit it, crush it up, make sure it's good and dump, dump the ice in there and um, sometimes you know you just want to fill it to that line that could be a bag, two bags, a bag and a half depending on the size of the bags of ice. Okay, so we have all the ice in here now it's just time to turn it on and see how it works. Okay, now that all the components are in there, you have the mix, the tequila, and the ice. It's simply a matter of just turning on the switch. Of course, for caution, you're supposed to put the lid on, but we're going to do this, throw caution to the wind, and show you can see it working in action. So you simply just turn the machine on, and it just takes a matter of seconds or minutes. At this point, what you do now is you transfer the frozen drink into your beverage machine. And we recommend just using any type of bucket, but for the bowl style equipment, we find this style bucket works very well. Uh, it has the, the lip here so you can pour it right into the machine. So basically, you just step on the uh, depressive foot pedal here to release the bowl, grab it, and you just tilt it and pour the amount of liquid you need right into your bucket. Okay, well then after you have it in your bucket, you simply just transfer it into your machine. And as I mentioned, with this style bucket, it's fairly simple to transfer it right into a bowl style machine. Those of you who have bowl machines, you can see by the way the machine is turning the product that it's a perfect texture drink and by pouring it into the cup it's ready to drink perfect texture the thing I want to emphasize and stress there's no granules there's no chunks of ice it's exactly the way your customers expects the drink to be well we'd like to thank you for your time today we hope you see the value of the super slusher and see the need to add it to your business and we hope this video has been able to answer most of your questions. But if you do have some questions, you'd like to give us a call, feel free to call us at 800-848-0358. And of course, you can visit our website and get more details at www.swirledice.com. Here again, thank you all and hope to hear from you very shortly. Thank you.